Yeah. These police should be accountable for, for their actions. They need to be accountable. They don't need to be out there serving this country no more. Somebody need to tell Trump wrong. That was wrong with that what them police officers did. That was wrong. People is not going for it no more. You know what I mean? Those black folks want to be equal. We want to be equal. We don't want to be treated like no dogs. So this is how we treat each other. So 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 this is how they want to treat us like dogs. We not dogs. I'm not blaming no. I'm not blaming all of the rest of the police officers. I'm blaming the ones that that that's accountable that did that. They know the shame on them. They had they they need on that man's neck. I know everybody talked about it. Everybody talked about it. Everybody around the world talked about it. Everybody all around the world talked about it. Even I'm talking about it. Shame on them police officers, man. Shame on them. Shame on you. You police officers that, 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 did that, that did that right there to another black man, I'm talking to you. And all the rest of them police officers that did that to another black man, I'm talking to them. The ones that be doing that, doing that to those black men, those black people, they need to stop it and be accountable. They need to be in jail. They need to be in jail. They need to be having the death penalty on them. They need to be served a full sentence. Us black folks is not standing for that no more. See, crime is crime. Crime is a crime. And the police officers need to be served a chair. And Trump I'm talking to you, Trump. I'm talking to you, Donald Trump. I'm not going to call you Donald Trump. I'm going to call you Chump. C-U-M-C-H-U-M-P. Chump. Man, you might as well shut your mouth, brother. You don't stand for everybody out here. You don't talk for everybody out here in the country. You need to shut your mouth. You talk about all of this, you talk all of that, you run your mouth. That's all you do is run your mouth. You don't care about what's going on. You don't care about the people. You always talk about the people, the American people. That's all I hear come out your mouth, American people. If you worry about the American people, then you need to do your job the right way. I'm a black, angry young man. A black, angry young man. You need to do your job like you're supposed to. You see people doing that right there? You need to, you need to get them people to stop doing that. Not trying to tell them to keep, not trying to tell them to do it. That's wrong. The police had that man had that had 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 his knees on that man's neck. That was wrong. That was wrong. And all the kids out there, I'm sorry, I cussing you know what I mean. I'm sorry, I'm cussing you know, but I'm just telling the truth. I'm telling the truth how it is. I'm telling the truth. Forgive me, 
forgive me for, for forgive me my apologies to the kids, you know what I mean? But but Trump, you wrong. You wrong. You sit here, you run your mouth, you run your mouth, you run your mouth, you run your mouth. We want a real president that's going to serve our country. And we want a president they see if they see a black man laying on the ground with somebody's knees on somebody putting their knees on their neck we want the president to, to, to say that's not good we want the president to tell them that's not right that's not right none of our police should have their knees on nobody's neck now one of our police shouldn't be having their knees on nobody's neck. Don't got no business having their knees on nobody's neck. I pray for that brother. I pray for that brother. I pray for him. I got prayer for him myself, you know. I pray for him. You know what I mean? I pray for his family. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I'm sorry you had to go through it. You know what I mean? His family and friends, all the people that know Floyd. I'm sorry he had to go through that. But wrong is wrong. And then the president, he's sitting up there making more insults. He's sitting there making insults. That would make me more mad. But you sitting there running your mouth. And the police officer, all four of them, they should be charged for that. I seen the video. I seen the video. Police officer was standing over that man looking all dumb and stupid. Are you dirt, 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 looking all dumb. Like he didn't have nothing to do with it. Man, if I was a police officer, man, I would have had them police locked up right there in sight. All four of them would have been charged. I would have charged their ass my damn self. I would have put their ass in jail my damn self. If I was there and I was a police officer, and I see another black man laying on the ground like that, with their knees pressed on that man's neck, I would have charged them police officers my damn self. I know I would have pressed charges on them. That's a black brother. That man had family. I don't know what that man, what he did. I don't care what he did either. I don't care what he did. I don't care what he sold. If he sold anything, I don't care what he did. That was wrong what them police did. That was wrong. That was wrong. And it took them, it took them, it took the, it took all that time for them to charge them guys. All they saying, they, they going, oh, they, they locked them up. Hell would lock up. 
locked up. It ain't nothing, man. They ain't nothing. They should be getting the treatment that, that, that they did to that man. That man had a family. Now he can't go and see his family. Now that man can't go and see his family no more. That man can't even go see his family no more. He can't see his family. Because of these stupid police. I'm talking to the ones that did the crime. I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about I'm talking about the ones that did the crime. The law need to get up off their ass and do their job. Stop letting these people that do that stop letting these letting these bad police get away with murder. Don't let them get away with murder. They shouldn't they shouldn't get away with murder. That was murder. And cold blood, man, that was murder. And all the wars and all these riots and stuff, man, we got to stop that riots. Please, everybody all over the world, please, stop the riots. Go home. Go home. Stop destroying, your, stop destroying these places, man. Stop destroying stuff. Go home. Everybody all over the world, go home. Put the glass down, put the put the rocks and the fire bombs, all these stuff, put them down. I know how you feel. Because, man, we lost another black brother. You know what I mean? My heart goes out to you, brother. My heart goes out to you, brother Floyd. We love you. We miss you. And you're going to be loved, brother. We love you, brother. You got a lot of people love you, brother. Even I love you, brother. I don't even know you. But I love our black brothers. I love our black brothers and sisters. Black power to our brothers and sisters. Black power. And we got some of the we got the white generation, some of the white generation fighting for us. Power to them too. Power to them too. Power to them. One fist in the air for you. Power to you. Keep on fighting that good fight for us. But don't do no wars. We got to stop the wars. We got to stop all the fighting. We got to stop. And we got to stop fight. We got to stop fighting each other too. We got to stop fighting each other. We got to put the guns down. All that stuff down. We got to put it down. Put it down. Put it down, my brothers and sisters. Make, you know what I mean? Make peace, not war. Make peace. That's what God wants us to do, make peace. He wants peace on earth. That's why he brings all these hurricanes, tornadoes, and all these other bad weather out here. 
Hurricanes are part of severe weather. Tornadoes are part of severe weather. Hail is part of severe weather. Rain is a part of severe weather. Thunder and lightning is a part of severe weather. Do you know what I mean? Earthquakes, earthquakes and hurricanes and all it on is a part of severe weather. Volcanoes are part of severe weather. That's why God be bringing all these bad weather out here. He wants everybody to make peace on earth. His message is to make peace on earth. Not war. That's why he be making fires too. God be setting fires. And that's another part of severe weather. When it be fire season. And droughts is part of severe weather. That's all in the summertime. Snow. Snow is a part of severe weather. Hail. Ice. All that stuff is part of severe weather. Sleet. Sleet is part of severe weather. But God be wanting us to make peace. God wants everybody on planet and make peace. God wants us, all of us people, not just me, all of us, everybody on this planet to be peaceful. He wants everybody on earth to be peaceful. That's why he put us on this planet, folks. Damn, and I appreciate what that man is saying, too. And yeah, and then that's what my church people be saying to me, too. And what you think? Jesus died for us, folk. Jesus died for us. That man died for us. Jesus died. That man on the, that man died for us. And we had Jesus died for us. He died for us. And his sins. So we could live on this planet. He died for us. So we all on this planet could die. So us people on this planet. Could live. You know. God, God, he sent Jesus out here. And then when he, he going to send Jesus, Jesus going to come back on this planet again. He's going to come back. We ain't heard the last of Jesus. We didn't heard the last of him. He's coming back on this planet. And when, when he come back, everything is going to be burnt up in fire. He gonna, God is going to bring fire on this planet. God is going to bring fire. You know. And when God brings that fire back on this planet. When he brings that fire on this planet. Everything's going to be destroyed. These houses. All these little apartments. Where we living in. Cars. Vehicles, everything on this planet is going to it's going to be destroyed. Everything on this planet is going to be destroyed. Everything on this planet is going to be destroyed. We on this planet temporarily. People don't understand about that. We on this planet temporarily. Everything on this planet is going to die. So we better enjoy life while we can. Get out there and have fun like we can have fun. Get out there and work if you got to work. 
go out there and do your job like you're supposed to, like you want to. Because when God bring that fire out here, everything is going to disappear. Ain't going to be, ain't going to be no crying. Ain't going to be no crying. Ain't going to be no whining and crying. Ain't going to be none of that. When God bring that fire on this planet, everything is going to be destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is going to be destroyed on this planet, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you got to keep God and you got to keep God in your spirits. I ain't no preacher. I ain't no I ain't no preacher though, but I, I'm I'm telling you the good word from God, the man upstairs. Cuz God is coming. People don't know. God is coming. That man upstairs, he's not playing. When he bring these bad weather out here, that man is not playing. That man is not playing. God wants us to calm everything down. He wants everything, he wants everything to be, he wants everything, he wants everybody to get along with each other. Black, white, whatever color your skin. Mexican, whatever. He wants everybody to get along with each other. God is coming. And see, God, he be giving me the talent. And see, God be giving me the talent. He be telling me, man, go out there, bring out happy spirits to people. And then God is telling me, yeah, God is telling me to bring out happy spirits too to everybody out here in Georgia and all over the world. Because people got cameras these days on their phones now. Bring out joy and happy, happiness. And when I be on the corner on University Avenue dancing on the corner... People film me. Man, I be bringing out happiness, man. I used to be on, I used to be dancing in, I danced in my homeboy's video. My homeboy q -Dell. Shout out to my boy q -Dell. Them boys from the barbershop, Mr. Razor's barbershop. Shout out to Mr. Razor and them. Cal Stone, q -Dell. Chance Wright. Mr. Razor, all of them, man. Shout out to them, man. My heart goes out to them, too, man. Because they put me on, man. They, they the ones put me on, on the spot. They did so much helping me, man. Them boys at the barbershop, man. They helped me be famous. I give them my man, man. I got my a lot of respect for them boys, man. Shout out to them boys on Deal Avenue, man. Shout out to them, man. And all the rest of my boys on Deal. You know what I mean? All, my, all the rest of my people on Deal Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? In the ATL. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. Yeah, man, I used to dance in my boy q video, man. And that's another reason why I got famous, you know what I mean? A lot of people liked, it my, liked it me in that video. Shout out to my boy Jonathan, you know what I mean? My boy Jonathan, he was in the video with me. My boy q he was in the video with me. You know what I mean? Big book of life, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, God is going to bring that fire right here, man. When he bring that fire right here, man, we better be, we better be prepared. When he bringing these bad weather out here, they, they a warning. All these bad weather is just, is, is a warning. He don't bring these weather just to come out here. These weather just don't come out here for nothing. He bring these weather out here to warn people. 
they his warnings. Whether they warnings or watches, they still the warning. Isolated or severe, whatever. They they a warning. They they God's warning. Even when they severe, they they God's warning. God is telling everybody. Stop all this nonsense y'all doing. Get along with each other on this planet. I didn't bring y'all on this planet to be fighting each other. Killing each other. Not all this other shit y'all doing. These are my words. What I'm saying, you know what I mean? God is warning people, man. And we better, everybody on this planet, we better open our ears and listen what the Lord got to say to us. And we better keep our ears open and listen what the Lord got to say. And we better listen. Before it be too late. God is going to bring that fire. He's not playing. He's going to bring that fire right here. And we got a choice. And if you, we got a choice. You're going to be with Jesus up there in the sky. Or you're going to go to hell. You do bad, you're going to hell. You do good, you're going up there in the sky with Jesus. You see, shout out to that boy Tupac Shakur, man. He said a lot of good stuff, but when he started dissing Biggie and all that stuff, started being dissing Biggie and all that stuff, man, he was he was like in the middle, you know what I mean? He was talking good. But, man, we need a lot of people need to be talking good like that. You know what I mean? Talk about, man, 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 let's talk about, man, 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 let's stop talking about all this killing each other. Let's stop talking about destroying ourselves. Let's stop talking about all this nonsense going on. All the people running around killing each other and running around, running wild. Let's make peace on earth, man. That's what we need to do. Make peace. Make peace with each other.